Yes, yeah, Stan and Kay, drivers around here don't need a Labor Day traffic jam to know how bad traffic can be, but now there are some studies that prove it. The trip home from the eastern shore was hard work on this Labor Day. At times, there was a 25-mile backup on Route 50 around the Bay Bridge. It's a microcosm of what Maryland drivers experience, now proven by one study to be the worst commute in the nation. On average, we lose two work weeks worth of time in our vehicles a year and roughly $2,000 and 32 gallons of fuel per driver. After he finished all the construction there by White Marsh, has definitely improved that area dramatically. Um, but downtown traffic still has always been a rough situation. All this AAA says, despite billions of dollars spent on more roads and express lanes, including two and a half billion spent on the intercounty connector and about three hundred million dollars on I-95 express lanes. We need to um, expand mass transit, make it easy for everyone to just get on the train, a bus, a subway, and get where they want to need to go. Get all these cars off the road. AAA Mid Atlantic says congestion is up due to a better economy to go on vacations, and other studies show the DMV lately is growing with more registered vehicles and more mega commutes of an hour or more away from our homes. Lower gas prices help too. The national average for a gallon of regular is a dollar cheaper than last year at 2.42. And here and now, when the news is even slightly better at $2.38 a gallon, is the statewide average. And certainly, we've seen that gas prices in many parts of the state are even significantly lower than that. And AAA says about 700,000 people in Maryland traveled this weekend. 87% of them did it in an automobile. We're live in North Baltimore. George Lettuce, WBAL TV 11 News.